A few weeks ago, I set out to join cross country and learn firsthand about the experiences that come with it by joining the team for the day. Unfortunately, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> However, I was still able to, I guess awkwardly follow around the track team. And uh, while it may not sound uh, as cool, I actually ended up having a really good time. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Emily Scheib. I'm a staff writer for the GL newspaper. Originally, I had planned on doing a sequel to the Trying the Color Guard for a Day, which if you haven't seen, you should definitely check it out. But the problem was there were like liability issues and things like that. So while I wasn't able to actually run with the team, I was able to follow them, film them, and interview them. The first day I decided to go out to the cross country team it was Tuesday, October 24th. It was kind of like a dark, you know, brooding day. Um, you could almost feel the anxiety in the air, and because it was so gross outside, there actually wasn't a lot of running being done. It was fine though, you know, I still got a lot of footage and I got to understand everything a bit better. Something really cool I got to see though was a speech from Coach Coughlin. And when I started out and I was like asking him, oh, can I film you and everything? He said that, oh, you know, like I haven't really prepared anything and you know, it's not, it's not gonna be that good. And I was like, fine, like, okay, I'll, I'll take anything you got. But then, you know, I actually saw it and it was like actually pretty good, you know. I was really like drawn into it. I really liked it actually. And very impressed for something, you know, that he hadn't written beforehand or anything like that. Yeah, so I was very, it was very cool to see that. If you're thinking right now, oh, I want so much for myself tomorrow. I want to do this. I want us to be that. Think about that now. Think about how you feel about your season. Think about what maybe it could have been if you did things a little differently. Again, it's not easy. You guys have done outstanding jobs of pushing yourselves and pushing yourselves. You don't sweat the You don't sweat the A lot of great things. Great times, great abilities. After I got to see Coach's speech, I just got a few interviews and then I left. The next time I came was a Thursday, November 2nd. I mostly hung out with the girls and they were all friendly and, you know, immediately when I walked up they were greeting me and joking around. The coach sent some people to start running right off the bat and the rest were chilling and enjoying themselves. It felt kind of like both a tight-knit and like still an open group. Not only the team is amazing, but the coach too. Something I wanted to mention was that when I asked him if I could interview him, he actually declined and said that, you know, the kids actually involved in cross country were far more important. And I thought that was like really cool and, you know, a great example of like the heart and spirit that both the coach and the team had. Coach told me that day that they were preparing for sectionals and it was a little complicated and I didn't quite get everything but basically it's like they were going to race all the people in their group which is sorted by size and you know they're going to play all the people who are in like the same area and if you come in the top 10 individually you can go on to groups and if your team comes in the top five then you also your team can go on to groups if you do well in these groups then you can move on to the meet of championships and we've only had a few athletes there so far I got a few good interviews from some members who, like I said, were warm and welcoming and very open to talking to me. So, do you guys want to say your names to, to start us off? Here you go. I'm Katie. <laughs> I'm Evelyn. All right, nice to meet you. Uh, what inspired you to join track? Um, cross country. Oh, okay, cross country. <laughs> Aren't they the same thing? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> inspired you to join cross country? We made her. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I used to run the cop trot in Mountainside and then junior year came around and I finally did it. And my brother did it so I just kind of like, I don't know, follow the, the tradition. 
All right, hi. Uh, do you want to start off by saying your name? Uh, Nick Zambrata. My my aunt actually, she's been a big runner, and uh, she got me to run my first 5K when I was in fifth grade. So I got addicted then. What makes you come back like every day to run? Like what instead of just like oh, what made you join? Like what keeps you here? Like, why do you enjoy it? The people. Yeah, the people. The people. We're, we're a family, you know. Yeah, that's great. Like I noticed as soon as I walked up, you guys. Were <laughs> it's so nice. We're very close. We spend like, like um, every day together, and then the weekends here. I really like to to push myself to my limits, see how far I can go. I also really like the camaraderie. I've made a lot of great friends. They're really, I'm really close with them. So, you know, every day they inspire me to keep coming back. Yeah, I heard you beat like Union Catholic or something. Yeah. That was like a, a victory for you guys? Yeah. Yeah. We got second in counties. Um, our, our, next, field. our next person is West We're going to get one point. So we're By one point. We're Preparing for a meet, it, in my eyes, is more uh, mental than it is physical. I see practice as both a mental and a physical thing. But you know, when you're in a race, you're really, you're really with yourself. You have the, all the tools in your toolbox. That's from practicing, and really, you're just left to see how far you can go. So it's all about mental when it comes to running uh, in a race. Would you recommend other people to join cross country, and if so, why? Yes, Erin Splay. The more, the merrier. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're a small team. Like, like, like um. Like ten of us right now, so it'd be fun um, to have more people. It'd be fun to have a bigger JV team. If I share my team, yes, yes, I'll get in here. <laughs> it's a great sport. Yeah, been doing it for four years, and you get hot really chocolate with your hot chocolate and bagels, and do it for the hot chocolate and bagels. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the best part. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> you can eat all you want, and you don't do nothing. Yeah, right, yeah, good, good cardio. <laughs> You're really in shape. You don't get as tired when you walk up the stairs. Seeing all this, it came as no surprise to me I found that the girls team had actually won their sectionals. Not only that, which was an incredible victory for the team, but both the boys and girls team ran well at the state group, and Victoria Van Reel was able to qualify for the meet of champions. Which is her second time in a row, might I add. While I can say that I wasn't able to actually run with cross country, I certainly was able to learn a lot about them, and overall, I have to say, I really enjoyed myself. So I'd really like to thank the cross country team and Coach Coughlin for having me there and allowing me to film it. it truly was a pleasure. Anything else you want to say? Um, just I, I've had it now that I'm a senior. I look on looking back on joining this team. I would say it was like the best decision I've ever made because you know it's given me all the tools to be successful inside, outside of school, and. Uh, yeah, it's taught me a lot of lessons about myself. Mm -hmm. So really, if you really wanna sharpen the saw, just join it. <laughs>